we have the idea of the first order differential equations when we have a constant coefficient and constant term in which we had a y and b in addition to the differential term but the possibility of a variable term and variable coefficient is also there and we will understand this possibility the first case within this possibility will be of homogeneous type let us see as we know that the very first standard form of the first order differential equation is this in which wt and ut are the two terms one of them is the co coefficient and the other one is the const the term without any variable uh, or the independent variable because you cannot see any y on this side these are in terms of t and previously we thought that uh, the possibility is only that n is equal to 0 that is the variable t doesn't exist explicitly in the uh, functions ut and wt but now we dispel this assumption and we assume that ut and wt they are contain t and n is greater than or not equal to 0 in other words these two functions that is ut and wt will not be constants and they will be variable so the first possibility is that the term on the right hand side is equal to 0 which makes it a homogeneous case whereas the other possibility is that we uh, have a non uh, zero value of ut so let's discuss the homogeneous case first where we remember that the non-homogeneous case will require the term on the right hand side to be non-zero so this is the primary standard form in which as per the case of homogeneous uh, differential equation the right hand side will be equal to zero that is wt will be equal to zero when we substitute this value the remaining expression will be this just to remind ourselves this is the variable coefficient and this is the dependent variable this is dy over dt and this is the uh, term that we have shifted to the other side and after shifting it we are left with this ter this uh, expression y is something that can be shifted to the other side and we have brought it to the other side that is the left hand side now we have this uh, term which is quite a bit similar to um, a function that we have already studied we'll come to that but right now we can visualize that this is the derivative of this function with respect to t so it is uh, a, a very similar kind of uh, situation that we have dealt with before where the derivative comes into the exponent uh, in the numerator and the original function it remains in the denominator so this is one way of writing the thing uh, another way to solve it is to take the integral with respect to t in this case when we do this uh, definitely this term will be generated and uh, the integral sign will be there as well as dt and integral on the other side of the equation so dt and dt they get cancelled out and we are left with dy over y on the left hand side whereas this remains the same now we can further rewrite it like this where we write the dy outside this is now a situation which shows the derivative the function and the derivative in its numerator the function and the denominator uh, the derivative in the numerator so function over the uh, the derivative over the function is the natural log in other words and we also write the constant of integration this will remain the same this constant of integration is not required on the left hand side so we shift it to the right hand side now we have natural log as the value on the left hand side we usually find the time path in terms of y only in, in its original value and not its natural log 
so we uh, try to get rid of this natural log the method of which will be to take the exponent on both sides so we did this and on doing so we got rid of the natural log from the left hand side and the remaining expression is that the exponent is raised to all of this term which we break down and we write the c separately with the exponent and this term separately with the exponent exponent of minus c uh, is also a constant because when we raise exponent of minus c or any constant the answer will not be a variable will be a constant so we write it uh, as a which is one notation easier to note and this is the reason and on the left hand side uh, on the neighboring term we can see it will remain the same and uh, we can write a in the beginning instead of writing at the end and this is the general solution it is general solution because we have capital A in it and we don't have the definite solution at this stage so the only thing that we need to know in order to solve this homogeneous case is the value of ut and then its integral which is easily calculatable so after developing this formula we should do some numerical from the book of alpha c chiang page number 484 we will get this uh, numerical example and we can extract the values by comparing it with the standard form in which ut is here and wt is here the value of z ut wt is 0 as it is a homogeneous case and the value of ut will be equal to 3t square so the value of ut is written and the value of wt is written which we can put into the formula so the formula is already known this is the formula that we just developed a few steps earlier and we are going to calculate this separately here so when we put the value of ut it is 3t square you can do these steps easily because this is simple integration that you have done before so this is the value of integral of ut now we put it back into the formula and uh, the formula is this of the general solution this is the value that we substituted now we disintegrate this term and we get minus t square minus c and we further write it in uh, uh, separately and then uh, writing them in a reverse order because we know this e raised to the power mi e exponent of minus t minus c and a they can be clubbed together into a constant here we have underlined them and the t term should be written separately at the end so exponent of minus c can be called as another constant which we call a as a bar and then a bar multiplied with a can be termed as capital B which will be yet another arbitrary constant this term remains the same and now we have got the final solution of the first order differential equation with variable coefficient and the variable term here is equal to 0 since it is the homogeneous case this is the final result and this was the given differential equation and this is the time path this is one of the reasons why b is brought into this equation so this is how we deal with the um, first order differential equation with uh, variable coefficient and variable term for its homogeneous case now in the next video we will do the non-homogeneous case thank you